Imagine this, you wake up with a strange feeling in your mouth. It feels itchy, maybe even a bit painful. You reach for a glass of water, take a sip and feel something moving inside your mouth. You spit it out, and to your absolute horror, you see tiny wriggling maggots. This my friends is not a scene from a horror movie. This is the unsettling reality of oral myosis. Oral myosis might sound like something out of a nightmare but it's a real condition, and it's more common than you might think. It occurs when flies, attracted to unsanitary conditions, lay their eggs in a person's mouth, typically in wounds or decaying tissue. These eggs then hatch into larvae, those tiny wriggling maggots, which then feed on the surrounding flesh. This condition is not for the faint of heart, and the thought of it alone is enough to make anyone squirm. But knowledge is power, and understanding oral myiasis is the first step in preventing it. So let's dive in and learn more about this unsettling condition. Oral myiasis is a type of myiasis, which is a broader term for any infestation of living tissue by fly larvae. While myiasis can affect various parts of the body, oral myiasis specifically targets the mouth, making it a particularly disturbing and uncomfortable experience. But how do these maggots actually end up in your mouth? It all starts with flies, specifically certain types of flies like the bot fly, screw worm fly, and house fly. These flies are attracted to unsanitary conditions, particularly decaying organic matter. Think open wounds, poor oral hygiene, and neglected teeth. These flies lay their eggs in these vulnerable areas, and the warmth and moisture of the mouth create the perfect breeding ground for the larvae. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae, which we know as maggots, start feeding on the surrounding tissue, leading to a host of unpleasant and potentially dangerous symptoms. While the thought of maggots in your mouth might seem like something that only happens in extreme cases, the reality is that anyone can be at risk of oral myosis, especially in certain conditions. Poor oral hygiene is a major risk factor. When we don't brush and floss regularly, food particles and bacteria accumulate in our mouths, creating an environment that attracts flies. This is especially true for people with neglected teeth, gum disease, or those who wear dentures that aren't properly cleaned. Open wounds in the mouth, such as ulcers or cuts, can also become entry points for fly eggs. These wounds provide easy access to the tissue inside the mouth, making them prime targets for flies looking to lay their eggs. A weakened immune system can also increase the risk of oral myosis. People with compromised immune systems are more susceptible to infections, including those caused by fly larvae. This is because their bodies are less able to fight off the invading organisms. Section 4. The Stuff of Nightmares. Symptoms of Oral Myosis. The symptoms of oral myosis are as unsettling as you might imagine. The most common and perhaps the most disturbing symptom is the sensation of something moving in your mouth. Imagine feeling tiny legs crawling on your tongue or gums. Not a pleasant thought, right? As the infestation progresses, you might experience pain, swelling, and inflammation in the affected area. The maggots release digestive enzymes that break down tissue, leading to irritation, redness, and discomfort. Bad breath is another common symptom. The decaying tissue and the presence of maggots create a foul odor that can be quite strong and unpleasant. In severe cases, oral myosis can cause fever, facial swelling, and even difficulty swallowing or breathing. This is a medical emergency and requires immediate attention. Section 5. Fighting Back Treatment and Early Detection The good news is that oral myosis, while unsettling, is treatable. Early detection is crucial for successful treatment and preventing complications. If you suspect you might have oral myosis, it's essential to see a doctor immediately. The primary treatment for oral myosis is the physical removal of the maggots. This involves using forceps or other instruments to carefully extract the larvae from the affected area. It's not a pleasant experience, but it's necessary to eliminate the infestation. After the maggots are removed, the doctor will clean the area thoroughly to prevent further infection. They might prescribe antibiotics to address any existing bacterial infection and prevent future ones. In severe cases, surgery might be necessary to remove dead tissue or repair any damage caused by the infestation. Section 6. Prevention. Your best defense against oral myosis. Prevention is always better than cure, and oral myosis is no exception. By taking some simple precautions, you can significantly reduce your risk of experiencing this unsettling condition. Maintaining good oral hygiene is paramount. 
Brushing your teeth twice a day, flossing daily, and using mouthwash can help keep your mouth clean and free of food particles that attract flies. If you have any open wounds in your mouth, keep them clean and covered until they heal. This will make it harder for flies to lay their eggs in the wound. If you're traveling to areas where myasis is common, be extra cautious about your food and water sources. Avoid eating food from street vendors and drink only bottled or boiled water. Lastly, if you have a weakened immune system, talk to your doctor about ways to boost your immunity and reduce your risk of infections. Remember, oral myasis is a preventable condition. By taking these simple steps, you can protect yourself and your loved ones from this unsettling experience.